here we are yet again 135 million coins i don't have a team super bowl past and present has released over the past few weeks and i'm excited to build the best roster in mutt some would say right now we are possibly in the most expensive era of mutt maybe ever with the amount of ltds applying to chemistries and being over 1 million 2 million coins i don't think we're gonna have an issue i'm buying any of these cards but i'm excited to get into it i really want to see how much we could actually spend on the best team in the game if you want extended coverage of the market and how i make my coins subscribe to the coin bible exclusively on team get lucky link in the description as we normally do with these style of videos we're going to start on the defensive side of the football now again i haven't really been into with mutt lately so a lot of these cards that i'm going to be looking at and yes i'm going to be going i think for the super bowl chemistry for the most part i think you can get it up to 70 out of 70 slots for plus two or plus three speed, which is absolutely insane. Uh, but a lot of the times, I'm, I'm seeing these cards for the first time. I'm seeing the stats of these cards for the first time. So first up, we have Reggie White 95. I'm actually going to go look at the night. Is there a 96 left? I think it's a George Karloffis. Yes. Now, I am a Chiefs fan, all right? We're in the Super Bowl again. So I am going to be picking up pretty much every single one of the relevant Chiefs cards. Um, first off, they go into the Super Bowl camp, but also just because I want them for their team, for my team. George Kalathis, though, LTD, and I actually need to see, because uh, I don't know the exact chemistry. I know he gets Super Bowl, I just don't know if it's times three or times four. We can look at the stats right here. 94 speed, 6'4". I'm definitely more of a power rusher um, in real life, but he's got great speed. So let's see, actually upgrade the training there so I can see the chemistry slots. There we go. Let's see what he gets. He gets times four, so I'm guessing LTDs get times four. Champions get times three, and that's why you're able to get 70 slots. Um, super super easily so again I'm, i don't want to cheat and look at the other 96 overall so let's now go to the right is there, is there a 96 overall right in there is it is jj watt though the old school team diamond card unfortunately he only has like 90 speed if i recall right um wasn't really even the best defensive end when he initially came out when he was going for four to five million coins so not gonna be picking him up right now check at the other right ins we have the new chase young former commander i think he's like the best champion i think they released and we also have the nick bosa ltd we're going to go snag the Chase Young. We're going to have to get all of the champions from the past and present just to get the chemistries. 471k. Potentially, by the way, a little market advice if you are watching this. Uh, some of these champions, uh, especially the cheaper ones that are under, I would say. Now, 471k is not one of the cheaper champions, but uh, I don't know how they're doing the Super Bowl MVP this year. So, uh, the past few years, these champions from Super Bowl past and present have gone into the set to build the uh, super Bowl mvp and they usually go up in price when that is uh released so that'll be of course a few days after the super bowl so we'll have to wait and see if they do that because i can see these champions go up it's hard to see another theme team being better than the super bowl uh theme team and maybe until team of the year but that not might that might not be for another month um so we'll have to see warren sap is a past uh champion well, we're gonna have to get pick up multiple defense tackles so let's scoop him let's see his speed real quick 500k it's a little bit more expensive 90 speed 60 warren sap i don't know if you guys remember the uh the first, it was like the first ltd legend of the entire year that card was one of the best uh defense alignments for the first month month and a half of the game he had like really good speed on that card i think it was an 87 overall um but yeah warren sap welcome back to the team and then we have a few ltd options quinn and williams i'm not a big fan of the weekly wild card it's hard man i don't again i always say this in every video we do a shopping spree i hate how they the, the theme teams are so overpowered for the promos so like when there's a promo like weekly wild card for example we'll take a look at what quinn and williams stats when there's a promo like weekly wild card and they don't give out like a theme team for them except for their just normal team like it's hard like how can quinn and williams compete with warren sap when he's not only way slower but warren sap's gonna get plus three plus four speed i just it, it doesn't make much sense like you would think ea would want to make all the cards maybe on a more even playing field to sell packs but it's like hey with the wild card is gonna be underwhelming i guess the only people that are gonna want william quinn and williams want quinn and williams for him but uh warren sap I, there's not a 96 d tackle i don't think so yeah we're gonna need another d tackle we could go get quinn and williams that would that would enter the theme of the uh, most expensive team in the entire game um, since he is around 600,000 coins, you know what? Screw it. Let's go for it. He is a 95 LTD, so it's not like my favorite LTD to buy because he's probably going to get Redux pretty soon with how they do Reduxes very, very often in this game. But 600k, Quinn Williams, uh, he'll be good overall fodder for the squad. And we did right him, we did take Okay, we did defense line. Let's move on to linebackers. Left outside linebacker. Yeah, Clay Matthews came up, but again, the legend, it's hard 
And we might pick up Clay Matthews, but I need to see. Yeah, there's Leo Chanel. Seen a lot of disrespect of Leo Chanel on Twitter. People saying, who the hell is this guy, man? He's been a in great piece of one of the best linebacking cores in the NFL. Uh, you know, health is a huge thing. And we were we were down Nick Bolton for a lot of the year. And Leo Chanel, Drew, Twink, Drew Tranquil, and Willie Gay, man, they really stepped up. Leo Chanel, younger. I think it's only his third year out of Wisconsin. Great young player for the Chiefs. And it's almost good that you have. I'm seeing there's a, there is a 96 overall Joey Bosa. I don't like the Bosa brothers, man. They're, they're, they're whiners. I don't really like them. So I'm not going to pick up Joey Bosa. Let's move over to right outside linebacker. But back to Leo Chanel. And there's not one at 96 overall. It's, you almost need some players that aren't necessarily superstars or not even just like emerging stars, flashy names in your team. Because when that second contract comes up, you don't want to have to pay everybody. You know, 10 plus million. Leo Chanel, while he's a very good player, flies under the radar for the Chiefs. And we need to we need to be saving as much money as we can if we want to re-sign guys like Chris Jones and the Jerry Sneed. Drake Greenlaw, Hassan Reddick, the Keith Bullock, aka Cruz. Let me know how you feel about the AKA Cruz content. Um, I was hoping it would be it. They did the uh Tory Holt, or I was the Isaac Bruce Kurt Warner release recently, which is a little bit more around the AKA Cruz theme, you would say, rather than just being a bunch of actual just normal AKA cards. You would say so it doesn't look like we have a super bowl option for right outside linebacker um so we're just going to take the highest overall player available which is dre greenlaw one million coins flat pretty much i wish a lot of these cards have been really cool to see if the playoffs and the super bowl cards uh or maybe not even them getting dual chems meaning like you know niners and super bowl or niners and playoff but why don't they just make the nine like the normal theme teams like uh, go up to 60 or 70. They hate normal theme teams, I guess. Uh, I feel bad for those that rock the uh, theme team throughout the entire year. Moving on to middle linebacker, though. I believe that we have a few options for the Super Bowl that are LTPs, if I recall. No, damn, so there's not a lot of middle linebackers. A position that had been stacked, I think, for the past month with, like, Bronkowski. You have the Ray Nitschke. They don't have a lot of options. We have no Super Bowl chem options. I mean, I'm get I guess I'm going to pick up Gronk. Still probably one of the best, still one of the best users in the game. I don't even know why I'm, I'm questioning it. Right, 6'5", 6'6", 731k. Fortunately, the last time we did one of these shopping spree videos, I bought the entire team. And then they did like a double redux, like the half a week after that. So like my Gronkowski, I bought, I think for like 2 million coins in that video, dropped 700k. And I didn't even get to play a game with them before I eventually sold them. We need one other middle linebacker. We could go with Fred Warner. I'm going to go with just Ernest Jones only because we might be able to build like a 10, 15, 20 tiered uh, playoff chem for some of the players we're, we're picking up. So we'll pick up Ernest Jones. And of course, I'm going to fill the backups with like players needed for chemistries. That's all for linebackers. Let's go to the best part of the defense, the secondary. And I'm going to mix things up a little bit. We're going to start with the safeties before the corners first. So strong safety. We have the new Dante Wintner, Bo Jackson. The bad thing is, I have not been keeping up, so I don't know the abilities a lot of these cards get. <laughs> um, I'm assuming a lot of them get deep in, deep out. So Jair Brown, he's a rookie, but he had a rookie premiere, I believe. I, I didn't really use his rookie premiere that much in the beginning of the year. Also, didn't help that they dropped the rookie premieres, at least on Xbox, like later than PlayStation, like a week late. Uh, I was really looking forward to using those rookie premieres in the beginning of the game, and they just delayed them for some reason, so... Um, and like I grinded the first week of months so, like my team wasn't I still used a bunch of those rookie premieres but it would have been a, a game changer if I got them day one rather than like day six because like half of my team was already better you would say than the rookie premieres but Jair Brown welcome to the team and then I know for a fact we have an LT I think it's Cam Chancellor it's gonna be one of the most expensive purchases and actually it doesn't look like that bad of a price and I say that uh, when I looked him up like an hour ago he was 2.7 2.8 2.5 screw it man a rich man's discount we're saving 200k cam chancellor always one of the best cards playing in game and madden's had M masters in the past has an aka card last year did he have an aka card i don't think he had an aka card this year but uh he, he had like an early on legend that was really really good all right let's go to free safety though free safety there's no ltds let's check the 94 95 options and i haven't really i yeah, I made a mental note to actually like look at the stats of these cards to show off like why I'm I'm choosing them rather than just chemistry. And I guess that's why I'm not really not not enjoying Mutt as much. I just think the team building aspect of Mutt this year, um, and a lot like last with the Legend thing too. But I think this year it's very 
not one dimensional, but it's just annoying. Like I'm building this team first off, like the, m the main players I'm buying, like as I go, and I'm going to buy this Ronnie lot right here, right? Like I'm buying this Ronnie lot strictly for, for theme team purposes. Like I don't love that, right? I'm only buying Ronnie lot because I can get plus two, plus three speed on him. Whereas I just saw the other state that I probably won as a back, and I'm just going to pick him up out of respect. It's Eric Barry. Like I would love to rock this Eric Barry card over Ronnie lot, but it's hard to say no to plus three speed, you know? And then he also helps the other players on the team uh, get speed with this times three chemistry because he's on LTDC at times three. I, I, I wish there was a better way of uh, evening out the theme. And it, 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 the reason they do it is to make money. I mean, it makes it to where there's more of a priority on getting the new players, which I like. It just really pushes out non theme team players and, and even like non like older cards, you would say, like, you know. Uh, even faster again that's ea that's but that's their job is to make money so i understand it i just wish there was a a different way to go about it and maybe yeah i shouldn't care as much about my players being super super good uh win or lose you know plus one speed isn't going to be the the difference but you know it, it, it's why you play mutt to get the best players i guess you would say and you're gonna you're gonna choose a player with 97 98 speed over 94 95 speed but let's move on to corner and let's actually start with 96 97 i think we have a Traverius ward former Kansas City Chief. I wouldn't really say turn for San Francisco for Niners. We we he, he got off to the bag for them a few years back, and we could not match it. And we had a bunch of young corners like Sneed uh, coming up, so we couldn't afford Traverius Ward. But he's like one of the best corners in the league now on the Niners. Happy for him. Hopefully he loses though. And then we have Night Train Lane, who I believe and Mel Blount. Jeez, the corners. It's a it's a rich man's world. I love this. I love Rich Madden is up right now. 1.79 mil for Night Train Lane. I do believe, since he's a 96 overall, I think he gets Super Bowl chem. Um, as long as they were an AK LTB that came out after the first Super Bowl pass drop, um, they are going to get the Super Bowl chem. I'll check that out when I officially add him to the team. So there we go. We have cornerback one, cornerback two. We'll pick up cornerback three here in Mel Blount. I believe this is his first card this year. 2.2 million coins. He dropped on Monday, I believe, also, with, like, the special LTD release. I don't know why EA doesn't release, like, LTDs or a lot of content, like, actually on Super Bowl weekend or Super Bowl day, but they haven't been doing it the past few years, and on the content schedule, um, it didn't have it, so I don't think we're getting any other special LTDs apart from, uh, there's boost that actually, and I'll actually show the Traveria support boost, which is kind of absurd, but if these players actually do something in the game, uh, they get, a like, a ability discount and it for in the description here it's like i don't know why it has him as two interceptions that's kind of crazy one interception it would already be hard and like an interception is really really hard to get let alone from my goat patrick mahomes but two interceptions i mean wh what's the point of even getting the ability discount he's going to be super Bowl mvp and get a 99 overall card so uh they have these discount they have these ability discounts like these challenges you would say on, on the card for all of the LTDs, but they're all absurd. Like that, the most realistic one is a wide receiver, Debo Samuel, which we will get into. But we need one other corner for the team. Cornerback number four. I do play a lot of Dala, the Dala Hala. So we need that slot cornerback number four. And the options we have we have a Cam Sun LT, we have a Herb Adderley, and a Joshua Williams. So we actually have two options. Well, you know what? I'm just going to buy both. I'm going to buy both because. Uh, we're gonna need them for chemistry purposes anyway so let's get the herb Adderley first which i think he's a slightly better card than joshua williams joshua williams is like the cornerback four or five on the chiefs he only plays when people get injured still a dog he comes in is does really good but uh yeah he's like behind he's even behind i would say jalen watson on the depth chart but we'll add him to the team herb Adderley there and then super bowl present i i will say i do get spoiled as a chiefs fan for the uh Super Bowl present promos every single year, you know, the theme team. We're not even say the theme team, but just the players get flooded. Last year, the legendary cards like MVS. This year, we'll have to see which of these Super Bowl present cards I love. But I think that's the defense. And actually, before we get into the offense, I, I don't do this uh, often, but let's just go to the special teams. I don't even know the best kicker and punter in the game right now. So let's look them up and see. Usually there's always a better kicker than there is punter we'll probably do for that time now team of the year is coming up and that will be what like with the end game kicker and punter but we're about at that time when we get like an aka kicker and punter lt that are like really expensive and they're just theme team or overall uh booster so we don't have anybody above 94 overall wait isn't there a harrison bucker am i tripping 
I swear there's a Harrison Bucker 94. Is my auction house bugged? There's a Harrison Bucker 94 overall from the playoff promo, I'm pretty sure. If there's not one up, I'll just go do the sex. I think I have a bunch of 91 overalls in my binder. But I swear, man. I swear. Let's see. No, I guess there's just not up. Okay, so I'm gonna go pick up the Harrison Bucker via sets. I'll just put him in once we make our lineup. But Harrison Bucker, we will add to the team. And then Punter. I don't know. And I clicked right outside linebacker. I don't know if there is a Punter. And it's 94 plus. Honestly, just should look up the lead by overall. Oh, okay, there is. Bradley Pin. Is it Pinion? Pinion. 188k. Uh, if you punt in Madden, you're a bitch, but we, we gotta get the punter for that overall. But that's the defense. That is the special teams. Let's move over to the offense. Starting at left tackle, it looks like we have Andrew Whitworth as the first option. 510k. Newly added legend into mud i don't think i don't think we have a 96 i didn't even look to see it. actually let's, let's let's check if we have a 96 overall i don't think there is one if there is one that's kind of bad for whitworth's case there's not okay let's go check left guard do we have a 96 overall left guard we do bruce matthews 955k it's an expensive lineman but then again the expensive linemen actually are some of the best purchases you would say because they don't release a very expensive or very good lineman often so usually they have more of longevity in your team there's not a, a super bowl 94 95 lineman let's check center now we have marquise pouncey the ltd 2.2 mil Ooh, i don't know if i want to i mean i can spend that i just don't know if it's is he normally that price i'd have to check much eg um just just for the video purpose i'm just gonna buy creed humphrey um, I don't know, like, Marquis Pouncey might normally be a 1 million coin card, so I buy that for 2.2. If I get banned, I will be upset and, and not have this account to make videos the rest of the year, so I'm not gonna buy Marquis Pouncey. Don't think I'm being stubborn with my coins, right? I would buy him. I just, I, I don't know. If there was two up, I would buy him. There's only one, so I don't know. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get coin wiped like I did last year when I gave away some golden tickets. Kevin is Zeitler. Right guard option. There is no... I, there's not a lot of Super Bowl linemen. That that that's the theme I'm getting, or at least champions, which is fine. But theme team purposes, it's like you want to have the theme team linemen because then you have more freedom to pick up non-theme team players at the skill positions. Whereas when you're forced to have all the skill position theme team guys, you're you're really constricted. I would say on like team creativity. And then right tackle, we have John Runyon. I think there's a 96 LTD right tackle. I have a pick. I'm, nope, I'm wrong. I, I, I'm flat out wrong. I guess we gotta go pick up John. I think John Runyon's like one of the only few cards so far we've had to buy. The last two a shopping spree videos. John Runyon, welcome back to the team. 94 overall right tackle. Alright. Now we're getting into the fun part though. The skill positions. Let's start out with fullback. 94-95. We have Mike Alstott. I don't believe there to be a 96 overall ltd fullback there is not so it looks like mike elstott i'm saying that correctly if i'm not i'm sorry welcome to the team with 330 000 coins for guys the fullback like the player that no he's not that was last they, they changed who who gets like the pooch kicks on kickoff returns i think it's just the, the kick returner now or it's not the fullback uh, but there's the fullback let's now move over to tight end. now there's a few options for tight end i know that or not a few options, there's a lot of good LTD options. Yeah, we have Travis Kels, 95, but we also have Dave Casper. Do you guys remember his season one chain? His season one uh, card from Madden 23, legendary card. Really, really good tight end. Was like the fastest tight end in the game by two or three speed. Love that card at the beginning. Or was it like at the pure beginning of Madden 23, but a month or two into the game? The first level master, you would say. Love that card. So we got to. We got to pay some respect. Pick up that LTD. I'm going to go pick up the Travis Kels 951k. I believe this card actually is pretty fast. Now, Trav isn't really the fastest anymore, but he he was a pretty he was a pretty damn quick tight end early in his career. It's just nowadays, you know, I feel like ever since Mutt became or ever, ever since he when he became the top premier the best tight end in the league, you know, he didn't have the super... He, was, he wasn't known being, like, for the super athletic, super fast tight end. 
whereas he was early in his career when he was kind of behind Gronk. You would even say like Zach Ertz at a point. Um, but there are two tight ends. Let's move on now to wide receiver. Who do we have? We have a lot of options. I wish receivers were a little bit more indiv individualistic in Mutt. They all pretty much play the same. They all run the routes the same. Um, I think it's a problem Madden really needs to address moving forward if they want to take a neck, like their next step, next level into Mutt. I think players need to be a lot more unique. Because especially with like abilities, everyone just runs a bunch of abilities on their quarterback. So you don't even run abilities really on your receiver anymore. And here's the Debo Samuel. Here's the one. And we also have a Plaxico Burst. We have two. Let me just show the Debo Samuel. It is, I think it's 150 receiving yards, which I think is realistic, right? That That's a little bubble screen to the house for 75 yards. And then, then, then he's got an option. But again, my problem with these game day condition cards is that if Debo Samuel is 150 yards, let's say he has two touchdowns or even a touchdown, it's a low scoring game. I mean, he's probably going to win MVP. So then it kind of makes this LTD irrelevant. Like, I don't. Like, yeah, well, well, you, you should have made the, the game day conditions a little bit more reasonable. Maybe not make the the uh, discount as drastic as you as as it is, but like you're, you're, you're putting it to where like if they hit the condition, they're winning Super Bowl MVP and then their LTD becomes irrelevant because they're getting a 99 overall card. You see the problem with that? No, oh, man, EA doesn't really, they don't really think a lot. I, I, I've started to learn that um, over the many years I've played Madden. They, they don't like to think, you know? But there's our top two receivers. Now let's go back to the 94, 95 options. I think we have, I think there is an MVS. I'm pretty sure there's an MVS. I saw it on Twitter. Yeah, here he is. My playoff goat, regular season fraud. He's the Frank, he's the Frank Clark of the offense. Marquez Valdez Scanton, Gantling, sorry. Had a great 97 overall LTD in Madden 23. Was the best receiver in the game for like two, three weeks. Let's actually take a look at the stats of this card. Hopefully he has 96 speed. Yeah, I was going to say 6'4", 96 speed. That would be 99 if we get it to 70 to 70. So you could argue he is maybe the best wide receiver in the game because abilities aren't really that big of a factor with zone being more of the meta. So you don't need any, you know, route technician, short and elite. And well, we have Hot Route Master, I think, for all the QBs nowadays. So you don't need any route temps. Um, but those are going to be our top three receivers. Is there anybody else? We have a Calvin Johnson out of respect. Calvin Johnson cards are always some of my favorite cards in Madden every single year. Nothing beats the 6-5 frame, and I don't, he does not get Super Bowl cam, but just out of respect, he'll be my fourth receiver locker room guy, you know, 1.2 mil. He's on that, he, he's on that Von Miller contract, you know, he may be getting paid a little bit too much, and doesn't do much on the field, but, you know, <laughs> he, he's still getting paid, he's still getting the back. Calvin Johnson, welcome to the team. Is there a fifth receiver we can pick up? Receivers are fun to buy, man. Let's see, is there anybody else we can scoop up? Larry Fitz, Puka Nakua, Corey Holt, Odell Beckham Jr. There's not really anybody that's standing out too much for me, to be honest. So I guess I'm just going to hold off. I guess Jamar Chase. Although Jamar Chase shits on the Chiefs every chance he gets. But, uh, you know, this would... Uh, the only thing is, I guess I don't want to go under... I don't want to go under one... 100 million coins, but you know, one one million coins, Jamar Chase. He's got the gritty celebration, so unique to him and Justin Jefferson makes that card just that little bit more special. Jamar Chase, 95 overall, welcome to the team as wide receiver five. Let's move on to running back. Well, 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 Maurice Jones Drew, my favorite non chief player of all time. I Joe Bruin, UCLA Bruins. That's you get it. MJD was my favorite player growing up absolute goat i think i have to pick him up simply for i mean he doesn't even have to be in the top three running backs but i need him in like third down running back just to be in the team uh but probably for chemistry purposes i don't have to have him in the top three mjd welcome isaiah pacheco legacy i'm sad i never really got to pick up that card who else do we have chris mccaffrey chris mccaffrey's gonna get a few cards he has that bnd uh super Bowl card you can upgrade with like tokens or something he just won offensive player of the year tonight and then he's also in the running for super Bowl mvp if the niners were to win on sunday so cmc could get like three cards or two or three cards two or three cards within the past week and like going into the next week so we're not we're not going to pick up his ltd terrell davis terrell davis if you guys played back in i believe it was it's in madden it was either madden 16 or madden 17 ultimate team 
he had a he had not only a base i think it was madden 16 he had a base legend card that was really really good at the beginning of the game and he also had a super bowl card that was really really good very very expensive when it came out but uh, i have fond i have very good memories of using trail davis in madden ultimate team from madden 16 super bowl pass will welcome him to the team and then i think do we have a 96 overall that we could pick up no it's just todd Gurley. hopefully todd Gurley gets like an ultimate legend i i I hate the Team Diamonds when they get cards, because especially this year, the Todd Gurley, he was good, but he got replaced, like, very, very quickly um, by the Zero Chill theme team, so he never really got his true shine in the meta, you would say, because he was 5 million coins, like, who, for the most part, who's going to afford that? So I would really like to see a meta Todd Gurley Ultimate Legend, maybe Sugar Rush, maybe he's due for a card, uh, big, fast, strong, so he's going to be a, a top-of-the-line running back, and Hopefully he gets one of those promo theme team cards so he's relevant within the meta, but we need one more running back. Maybe MGD is our RB3. I think we're just going to go pick up Isaiah Pacheco, Chris Johnson, 94 overall. Do we have like a 95? There's not really anybody too special. I don't want to buy Peyton Hillis again. I don't want to buy Derrick Henry again. Icky Woods is a little bit... I I'm going to pick up Pacheco just for the Chiefs theme team and for the, for the uh, playoff theme team. Only 180k. You can play that RB2 rule and RB3 rule alongside MJD. So there we go. We got our skill positions and we now have the quarter back. Now, I think there's two. I actually don't know who's the best. I'm usually no. Like, I might not know who's the best corners in the game, who's the best receivers in the game. I usually always know who's the who are the best quarterbacks in the game, but I actually don't. I think it's this first man right here, Doug. Williams, Super Bowl past legend, uh, because of his release, he also, I mean, really, really good guard, 92 speed, he gets the God stack, you would say, which is, I believe, Hot Route Master, Set Feet Lead, Gunslinger, and Gift Wrapped, uh, but, you know, my favorite, my favorite player also got a card this week, uh, and, and, and that is Patrick Mahomes, Patrick LeVon, Mahomes the third. The only problem with Mahomes cards is that they have an awful release, a very, very bad release, which kind of ruins his cards every single year, but I'm going to pick him up out of respect. One thing to note about the Super Love TVs if you're watching this video, do not buy these cards right now. They are in packs for a full week. Yes, a full week. I will flash up on the screen after we buy this card. I will flash up on the screen the graphic. They are in packs to the 15th of February, which is quite literally like a week it's next until next thursday morning so these cards as expensive as they are they're actually they're not that expensive for ltds we've seen ltds be like 1.5 to 2.5 million coins like plaxico camp chancellor all the ltds from this past super bowl drop are around 1 million coins they'll probably get into like the 700 600k just from being in packs for an entire week especially because we're gonna have honors cards this next week so there's probably gonna be a lot of really really good store offers now i'm not gonna spend money Shouldn't spend money on this game, especially this late in the year. Never advise that. But uh, there'll probably be a lot of those like 90 or 96 overall offers where a lot of LTDs are going to be pulled. So these LTDs are probably going to crash in price whenever we get that really good offer next week when, you know, the plethora of honors cards are in packs. But that's the squad. I'm now going to go pick up a bunch of backups. We're going to put the team all together and show you the final product. The lineup has been fully constructed. Chemistries strategy cards i didn't really pay too much attention to but uh we, we picked up the backups released the backups that i needed for right now so let's break down the team starting off with the chemistries we are running mutt 24 super bowl super bowl chem 70 out of 70 so we get that plus three speed boost which is absolutely crazy and then we do have mutt 24 playoffs at 16 out of 20 i can get this to 25 out of 25 plus one speed uh, but I'm a little bit of a time crunch right now, and I didn't want to go out and buy like another 8 to 10 players and spend another 30 minutes trying to get that chemistry all sorted out. So offensively, you can see uh, where the pieces are. Top three receivers, Plaxco, MVS, Debo Samuel. Right now, I have Mahomes as our quarterback. One, let's look at the abilities real quick. Again, offense, there isn't too much to talk about because 7 of the 8 AP is taken up by Mr. Mahomes. We also have Debo Samuel who gets a free mid-in elite. Uh, as well as Terrell Davis for a free Energizer. And then this Calvin Johnson is just the AKA boost. And then I, I spent the extra 1 AP 
on red zone threat. Uh, it was one of my favorite abilities back in Madden 23 towards the second half of the year, especially with high balls. And really, it doesn't even have to be high balls or like mossing somebody. It just, it kind of uh, negates KOs, you would almost say, like in the red zone a little bit better. So I didn't really have anything else to spend the 1 AP on. There wasn't all the, all the good abilities, I would say, are like 2 AP on offense. So I spent 1 AP on red zone threat. So this is the offense for right now let's get to the defense ability wise it's going to be a lot more complicated because there's a lot more free abilities on cards that actually won't even see the field but here is the final product and i just want to showcase some cards because they get uh, I, I should have shown some offensive cards man with the plus three speed i mean charvarius ward 98 speed 6 1 99 zone 98 man uh, dude, these boosts are like these are end game cards. I mean, we we had end game cards in Zero Chill, but I mean seriously, because uh, I don't even have the strat item for the Super Bowl, which I will show you. I don't even have that yet, and these cards are already like golden ticket esque. Um, so yeah, here's the team quarter wise and like kind of structure of abilities and who's actually starting. So Charvarius Ward and Herb Adderley are going to be my two outside corners, whereas Dick Lane, Night Train Lane, sorry. Uh, and Mel Blount are going to be my two inside corners. Safeties, uh, Cam Chancellor is going to be my top right strong safety. Jair Brown is going to be my free safety, whereas Ronnie Lott and I think Leo Chanel are going to be my two users, right? So that's where, like, my dollar keeps. And then pass rush-wise, I think I'm going to have Karloftis, Warren Sapp, Chase Young as, like, my starting three pass rushers, at least in dollar. So let's get into the abilities because it gets a little bit complicated. So... For my safeties, I have Cam Chancellor with mid zone KO for 1 AP, deep zone KO for 2 AP, alongside Jair Brown, who has deep zone KO for 2 AP, which is deep out zone KO and deep in zone KO combined for one ability. Really, really important. You pretty much need on all your defensive backs in this game. And then pick ours for 0 AP. My two outside corners are going to have the same, or they're going to not the same as the safeties, but the same ability structure. Herb Adderley, deep zone KO, mid zone KO for a combined 3 AP. And if I could find them, Charvarius Ward, same thing. Deep zone KO, mid zone KO for 3 AP. User Ronnie Lott, going to be 0 AP, as well as Leo Chanel. I didn't even realize how good this car was. He gets Lurk Artist for 0 AP. So those are my two users. Defense line wise, and these other 0 AP abilities are going to be Lurk Artist and on, you know. Ernest Jones, Drake Greenlaw, Rob Gronkowski, pick artist on Eric Berry if he ever sees the field. Defensive line, Warren Sapp gets zero AP secure tackle. I think that's very important a lot with the AKA running backs that we're going to be getting. I mean, we still have yet to get Cordell Patterson. We've still yet to get Gus Edwards. We've still yet to get AJ Dillon, the quad father. So Warren Sapp is going to be a key defensive tackle, I think, for the rest of the year with that zero AP secure tackler. Chase Young gets zero AP, no outsiders, which I don't really care too much, but it's a free ability. So I'm going to take it. And then where's George Kalafis? He gets two zero AP abilities being El Toro, which I believe is a user ability. So like, I don't use her rush, so that doesn't really matter. But he gets Demoralizer. Uh, so if he ever gets a hit stick, he, hit stick, he wipes the ball carrier in the zone progress. So, you know, it's zero AP abilities that I don't have to spend on. Uh, the other, I guess, defensive back abilities that are zero AP, we have a pick artist. We have a one step ahead, I think, for six plays. And then we also have another pick artist. Ronnie Lott's got a pick artist, like I already mentioned. But yeah, those are the abilities on the defensive side of the football. Um, overall, I think this is a just behemoth of a squad. I mean, technically, the Super Bowl chem or the Super Bowl team is only going to get better uh, alongside a Super Bowl MVP. Uh, we also are going to be seeing, you know, all the a AKA LTDs, actually, all the AKA cards in general um, are going to get Super Bowl chem. So I think the Super Bowl theme team is going to be the theme team to have until team of the year. And team of the year might not be until early to mid March. So we might be looking at the best themes in the game for a month. Yes, we're going to have Ultimate Legends, we're going to have Combine, we're going to have some other mini promos, but I don't think they're... It, it's going to be a lot like Zero Chill. Zero Chill ran the streets from December, I would say, up until now. You would you would even say like mid-January, late January. I think we're going to see that type of run from the Super Bowl theme team all of February and maybe even a little bit into March. But that is the squad. Uh, special teams, uh, there's actually is a, there's a punter for the Super Bowl camp, but I didn't get him. Pinion. Harrison Bucker, which I did add. Uh, nothing here specialist-wise. Strategy-wise, I'm, I'm still rocking like the blue strat items. I got to go pick up the new strat items. And then I also don't have the program strat item that I possibly need. So I do need to update my team a little bit in that sense. Oh, one thing, visuals. I didn't even know this was a thing. I didn't know when they added this, but uh, there's actually, like, I think there's some Niners jerseys too. Uh, but Chiefs, uh, the special edition Chiefs jerseys, they're just their base jersey, but they give 
two times Chiefs chem as well as Super Bowl chem for each one. So um, I actually probably don't even really need them, but it just helps to get into Super Bowl chem and they're like 1,000 coins. I think you get them for free in the solo challenges, but I have not played those. So I just bought them for 1,000 coins. But that is the squad. I think I set up what I need to do, build the best team in the game and stay above 100 million coins so we can still flex that coin count in uh, all of our videos and our streams. But that is all for the video today. Comment uh, any upgrades I should make for the squad. And uh, like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. And until next time, peace.